everybody! Hi squirrels! Hi my new herons! Today Mrs Baldwin and I thought we'd read you a story together. We wanted to read you Giraffes Can't Dance. So enjoy! Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh dear. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. And Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted on the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance, arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. 
We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Oh, I do like that story. So do story. I. It's, it's a great it's one, isn't it? So nice, yes. And Gerald was very brave. He and was. he did what he wanted to do in the end. I would say he was a challenged cheater, wouldn't so you, Mrs. I, Baldwin? Yes, and a confident caterpillar for having a go. Definitely. And for feeling brave. And we thought this one would be especially good for you guys because, as I've told Mrs. Baldwin, you love to dance. So, Mrs. Baldwin will be getting to her boogie on in the new term, <laughs> won't you, Mrs. Definite, Baldwin? Definitely, I Ready like for those good old squirrels. dance as well. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for listening, squirrels and new herons. <laughs> And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.